Okay, let's create the uh, hairpin here, the decrescendo. So we're going to go to our slur tool, and we're going to find our decrescendo there. And we're going to create it on this C sharp right here. So we click, click, and expand, holding the click. That's how we do that. Then we need a whole note here. Now, in here, you see I didn't use that trick that I showed you before. And actually, I'm going to fix that while I'm teaching you guys this. So let's fix it. How we fix it? By putting the quarter notes everywhere else. Don't worry about this because we're going to do slashes soon. But you see what I wanted to create here is I wanted to create the correct spacing. I'm going to go to my tool for slashes, S, S, S. See how now the spacing is, is better? Here's too close because I didn't have any quarter notes in there. Even when I did the, uh, the spacing automatically with Finale, um, it, it doesn't fix it like we would want it to. Um, it's easier for me. It's easier to see it this way and to read it that way. Um, so probably just a preference, but it's the way I prefer it. So um, band's going to hold there and the piano's going to keep playing quarter notes. So let's make that little box appear there. How we do that, we're going to click in here. That's an expressive text, piano, duplicate it, edit. Band holds. Piano plays quarter notes. Okay, assign. Oops, I started moving the box like if I was engraving. Don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go in there, right click it, and say remove manual adjustments. Because that is coming on a later video. And of course, it doesn't want to work, so I'm going to delete it and put it back. And now it's green. Perfect. Okay, so let's keep on going. G last. Last four bars, which is the outro of this song. So one, two, three, four. Back to. Um, I'm going to show you how to delete all those in a sec. Whatever's left. So we're going to go to rehearsal marks in there that are age. It's got an outro, so go duplicate the chorus, edit, outro. And then let's create some notes, which is probably the same intro, just a step higher. But we're going to create it from zero. E try it so like that and then we need the second version of the F sharp minor so four and third another one the same four and third then we need second version E try it so four and third then we need a D sus two or a D two so seven to get my whole note two five oops not five four See, I'm thinking a fifth from D, but the the note is not D. The note that is uh, here is E, the one that has the emphasis. It's on the different color, so it's a fourth above that. Okay, that's how we get that. And some people call this D sus two. Some people just call it D two. Um, so either way, that's that's those are the notes that you should be playing. So A, D over A. So that's A. There's going to be an E over G sharp, I'm pretty sure. And F sharp minor. E. And then D at 2. I don't think we have it. Let's see. Let's go to the end. We have the sus 2, so we can use that. And there we go. And then we have one more thing. Um, we have this bird's eye in there. It's also on your articulations. 
Turn it on. Perfect. Now, we have a bunch of extra measures. I'm going to select all the extra measures. Right click them. Delete measure stack. And we're going to get our final bar there automatic. So, there we have it, guys and girls and anybody who is watching this video. There we have it. Um, one thing that we're missing already, it's as the verse in here in on my original chart, I don't, didn't have it. So let's go ahead and fix that by going in here, duplicating the chorus, editing, just typing verse, press OK, assign. We got it there. Perfect. That's the chorus. This is the re-intro part. This should be the verse again. So let's add it in there. Verse. Just keep looking. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. I want to be in that tool. I keep looking. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay. Chorus. Bridge. Coming out of the core out of the bridge. This is a chorus, so let's call it a chorus right here. Perfect. We have it. This are all the notes with some even extra stuff now that we had on our original. Okay? So there we have it. There it is. We are done with all of our notes all we have to do now which is going to come on our next video is we're going to engrave it what is engraving engraving is putting this together like this so that now it looks super nice the letters are aligned everything is aligned where it needs to be okay so part five of this video is going to be engraving it and i hope to see you all on part five again any questions, any comments, you can leave them here on the YouTube channel. You can go to my webpage, um, www.jorgesilvestrini.com. You can also email me. The email is me, M-E, at jorgesilvestrini.com. You can find me on Twitter, DM me, send me a, a mention, a tweet there, at jsilvestrini. Um, I'll be super glad to answer any questions that you may have okay so um, hoping i'll see you very very soon on another tutorial have a great one and we'll see you back soon bye bye